Hi guys, this is the second method for copying files from your Insta360 Pro camera directly to your computer without the need to remove either the SD card or your SSD. Now this method is going to use the network connection to transfer the files. However, I find that it is most effective over LAN. Um, for me, over Wi-Fi, this is actually slower than ADB. So for 250 gigabyte of files, ADB was about six minutes. Um, this method over Wi-Fi is about 15 minutes. However, over the LAN, it's about one minute 30. So you can see it's much, much faster using the direct connection method using LAN. So let's take a look then at how we're gonna do this. So to do this, it's again, it's a command line based uh, operation. We're going to use wget for Windows. This is available for Mac and Linux as well. You'll find the sources wherever you will. Um, for me, it's on Windows. So I'm just going to download this top one here, the complete package, except sources, download and run that setup to install the application. The next thing we're going to want to do is to run to add this to the environment variable path. Um, so that we can run this into any folder. So in the search bar, we'll just start typing environ, there we go, edit system environment variables. Click that. This will bring up then the system properties for environment variables. Click that one. Select path and then edit. <clears throat> and what we'll want to do is I've already added it here, but I'm going to delete it and add it again. So all we do is we go to browse your PC, C, program files, GNU32, and then bin. Select that and click OK. OK again, just OK your way all the way back through. Now, at this point, it's really important to know that you need to reboot the computer. That will basically log the environment variable into the system to be used by the system. So do that now. Once you've added the path, reboot the system. OK, so once that's done and you've rebooted your system, um, what you want to do is just create a folder somewhere. I've created one on my fast raid. Um, I've just called it Insta Pro. Now, as we did last time, all we need to do now is to click into the address bar and type CMD. And we can type wget and just hit enter. And you can see that it says it's missing the L. But what we're looking for here is, is it actually being detected, which it is. Okay, cool. So the next thing we need to do then is to give it the, um, the URL that we want to pull from. So like we did last time, we're going to run the Insta360 Pro control software. Um, again, like I said, I'm connecting over the LAN. This is much faster than over Wi-Fi. So we'll connect to that. And then just again, um, click the SD card uh, button over to the side here. Right click and open in browser once again. Now this time, we're going to want this entire string, the whole path. So click on that, copy that. So that's absolutely everything, including the HTTP. We can drop these out of the way. And what we're going to do now is in here, type wget minus r, which means recursively. This is going to go down through every single file, um, every single folder and copy everything. Now this may not be exactly what we want because we may be copying more files than we actually want, but we'll come around to that. This is the quickest, simplest method. So if we do that, just wget minus r, paste in that string. Now you'll notice that I'm in this Insta Pro folder where I'm running the command and because I'm on the path, uh, or rather it's in the path for my environment variables, this will run from here. So if I hit enter, you can see it's gonna rip through and we'll have a look here. Now you can see the folder that it's created has got the IP address plus uh, the 8000 for the port. We go into there and then there's the mount folder, the media rewritable folder, finally the SD card folder, and then all of our files. <clears throat> now I'm going to paste below an extended version of this command and what that will do is it will delete out all of these things that we don't want. So it will limit the command to only copy these files here, and it will copy them directly into our Insta Pro um, folder at the top here. So we won't have all of these subfolders. And I'll let this finish first, and then I'm gonna show you that command running. Okay, so that's now finished, and that took, as you see, one minute, 33 seconds, and it was copying over it. 
26 mega second or thereabouts. So that's pretty fast, much faster than either of the other methods. So now I'm going to show you how we can actually clean up all of these files. I'm just going to delete this folder and run the command again. Okay, so the command I'm going to run this time then is this long one here. Let me just pull this in a sec. Uh, okay. Um, now what we've got is the wget recursive. This means no parent. This means no host. So we don't get the uh, 192168. Cut directories equals three. So that means ignore three directory levels above the one that we want. Uh, minus R means uh, don't include the index HTML and don't include the pro suck. The pro suck, by the way, is the <clears throat> this is the file that tells the camera that the card has been checked for speed. So if you're going to format your card, you should copy, um, make a backup of this file, the pro suck file. Um, and then you can format your card and just copy that file back over and you won't have to test for speed again. Okay, so the next thing is minus X. So the minus R means do not include individual files. Minus X means do not include particular directories. So what I don't want is the system volume information and I don't want the lost directory. And then basically it's run it on this string here. So let's just copy all of that. I'll paste this below. So you can just copy and paste this into a text document. The only thing that you will need to change is this, these numbers. These 30, 30, 35, 33 numbers is the only thing that you'll need to change. Everything else you can leave the same. So there's three places for that. Here, here, and here at the end. Change those to the numbers that match your card and then just paste this whole thing into the command line window. So we'll copy that. We'll go to our command line window. Uh, we'll just clear this out so we've got a clean window to work with. Right click and paste it in. So we can see in the folder at the top here, last time it created that 192 plus 8000, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down. This time it will only pull the directories that contain media and ignore everything else. So I'm gonna hit enter to run this command now. So as you can see, it's created only the media directories directly into this folder and it's ignoring everything else. So there we go, that's completed in 1 minute 29 seconds, 27 megaseconds, so it's marginally quicker, it's not a huge amount, but what it is, is tidier. Um, what I'm going to show you now actually is that because we added it to the path, um, we can do this from anywhere. So if I delete all of these again and say create a new folder and we'll call this day one yeah so say we're on a multi-day shoot and we've got all of our footage recorded to the camera and we just want to pull it all off into day one so in this folder go into this folder and type command there and you'll see it's opened up a new window so again we just paste in our command and run it and it creates all of those directories with all of the media in the day one folder and you can obviously repeat this as often as you like into other directories. The reason we can do this is because we added wget to the environment variable path. Okay, guys, I hope you found this interesting. If you have any comments or uh, anything else you want to ask me, just say so in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.